Namaste, my beautiful queens. This is extremely important video in which I will uh, show you in very easy way and very easy steps when you clearly will see if this is happening to you. My goal is to show you because um, it shouldn't be uh, this way because we are being nowadays especially not only we are being manipulated by um, by partners in a relationship it could be parents it could be uh, our friends it could be your boss it could be all kinds of things of course mainly i want to warn you about the signs of um, uh, of you being uh, pulled your strings and your button pressed uh, the signs which you will see extremely easily simply you know i have two more uh just two more little things here where you simply will know after this video it will become clear for you that uh -huh, i see i see i am being I am being manipulated. I uh, call uh, all of those people who are manipulating, uh, I call them manipulators. Of course, uh, into the first category of all of them uh, comes the group of um, personalities, which called, of course, narcissists. Uh, please click the link to uh, Dr. Ramani uh, website and you're going to find all the information there about seven types of narcissist, what to do with them, what to do if it's your boss, what to do if it's your husband, what to do if you were brought up by narcissistic parents, that you can find there. Here I want to show you very simple way, maybe you are just at the beginning of it, maybe you just started relationship with this uh, person, uh, maybe you have been doing already this for a while. I am giving you information which you can choose whether to take or not to take. But this is either can save you from a lot of lot of trouble if you learn, if you choose, the choice is yours, if you choose to listen to it. Or, of course, if you totally hate what I just say, you can up unsubscribe uh, from my channel and uh, you are free to go. Uh, but even if you do unsubscribe from my channel, I want to ask you to listen to the end of this videos. So simply, when it happens to you, you simply know that this is happening to you. My goal is to give you information. So let us go. Very simple. Uh, so what is manipulation? Manipulation is psychological influence and it is a psychological actually abuse uh, because sometimes women who have been a psychologically abused, manipulated for years, they excuse their horrific partners by the words, but he never got physical with me. The thing is that it's, it's not really make it uh, much better because psychological abuse, um, the result of psychological abuse is a uh, horrific um, it's it's simply a nightmare because uh, because what happens is um, the result of psychological abuse the manipulation is you're gonna be crushed it's gonna be uh, your self-esteem is gonna be destroyed your self-value um, your values your moral principles uh, sadness depression even uh, suicidal thoughts please if you experience uh, this symptom please get professional help or, or at the beginning please just watch some videos of Dr. Ramani or others but please don't suffer alone you don't need to suffer alone so manipulation is a, a psychological abuse psychological influence the goal of the manipulation is get you get the victim 
Give the manipulator their resource. What can be the resource? Whatever you can imagine. I already told you it could be sexual or emotions or feelings or connections or influence or talents or whatever you have the resource. So who is a manipulator? Uh, I like to call them, uh, I agree with um, Anna Bakinska who calls them hyenas. I totally agree with, with them. They always want to uh, bite that piece of you. So, um, we become victims very often when we believe, when we have that hope that the snake can become a swan. One day he will wake up, one day he will change. This makes a lot of women suffer for a very many years. So, what are the easiest way? I'm going to give you the, the easiest ways to see if you are there. These are the three I don't know. If in your relationship you have these three I don't know, they make sure, you know, uh, if you have it, it means you are being manipulated. Either it's a manipulator light or hard. Uh, as I said, any well, one of seven types of narcissists uh, or any types of uh, psychological abusers, I just call them manipulators. So what are the three I don't know? I don't know when. What does it mean? Uh, I don't know when I'm going to know what is happening. Okay? You don't know when something is going to be clear. When exactly you're going to know who you are in this, what is going on, and what exactly you are lost. So, when you are lost... You are lost. If you have a feeling that you are lost, you don't know what the hell is happening, you are being manipulated. So, I don't know when. Uh, you see, uh, very often manipulators um, uh, use uh, specific phrases. And I will tell you those phrases so you can recognize them. Um, you see, um, so... These are the, uh, the could be light methods, it could be hard methods. So, I don't know what, I don't know when, I don't uh, know uh, why, means I don't know when I'm going to find, why, I don't know when you're going to do something about it. I don't know when you're going to come. I don't know when you're going to decide. I don't know when you're going to make that step. I don't know when you're going to make your uh, promises. I don't know when. First, if you have this, I don't know when. Second, I don't know what, what it means. I don't know what is going on. I have no idea what the heck is going on. What is happening? You know, who am I in this? Are we, uh, are we in relationship? Are we in relationship? Uh, am I a girlfriend? Am I a fiancé? Am, am I a wife? Am I, am I who am I? Uh, what is going on? What is happening? What is what? I don't know when, I don't know what, and the last why, one, I don't know why. I don't know why he acts like this. I don't know why he told me this. I don't know why he appears and disappears whenever he chooses to. I don't know why this whole thing is happening. I don't know why he acts like this one moment and he acts completely differently another moment. I don't know why he was one person when I just met him and it was all wonderful and now he's another person and I don't know why he changed so much. So the three, uh, I don't know. I don't know when. I don't know what. I don't know why. You are lost. Or we can put it into one question. I don't know what the hell. Okay? So those are all. If you experience a, one of them or you experiencing all three of them, then please pay attention because uh, this is the manipulation methods. Because if a person is genuine, honest, clear, he 
shows it to you. He acts, as I already said, true deep feelings, true deep emotions means the right actions with compassion, with honesty, with openness, with care. Anything else is this. Now, very easy. Please watch if he does this to you. Very easy to determine if you are being manipulated. He makes you feel stupid, even if he does it with a little bit of a humor, kind of like, yeah, you come on, you know, you know, you don't know much. If, like again, if it's your boss or your boss, if the person makes you feel stupid, this is the method of manipulation. He makes you feel stupid. Sometimes narcissistic types, they like to use very difficult, um, specific words, which you don't know nothing about. And uh, whenever someone makes you feel stupid, it, this someone just makes you agree to whatever he says. And of course, if you have lack of self-esteem, lack of self-respect, and lack of self-value, you are easier to manipulate than a person who know, you know, who, who have self, uh, you know, healthy self-esteem and uh, self-value. He makes you feel stupid. You know you, you don't, come on. You know you don't know nothing about it. So this is number one, warning sign number one. You see, it's easy. So it's a person, if a man makes you feel stupid, here is a red flag. He is a red flag already. Number two, double compliments. This is very easy, very easy. This is a compliment which has negative, insulting words. You know what? Example, you know what? If you lost 10 pounds, you know, you are a very attractive girl. Only if you lost 10 pounds, wow, you would be, you know, a movie star. You would be just mwah, like, like that. After such a compliment, you feel terrible. Okay, you feel this aftertaste, you feel horrible. Or, you know what, it, it, it's, a, it's a beautiful dress, um, but you see, it's designed for different type of, uh, of body. You know, it would look better on a probably more, more voluptuous woman, on a woman who have a bigger boobs, you know. It's a beautiful dress, I like your taste. Uh, you know, you really get a great taste, but you know, it just doesn't look that good on you. Like a compliment and then negative thing. Negative, it's something what you cannot say, you know, you know, go to hell, but at the same time, it, give, it makes you feel terrible. Remember the simple rule, if it makes you feel terrible, then it's terrible, then you have to get out this manipulation okay then comparing you to anyone usually to ex-women um for example i will give you an example my ex-wife or just my ex you know she was a horrific person she was evil she was demanding all she needed was money you know but what kind of body she had oh my god you know it you know i rather prefer to be with you you know you're a good person you know and, you know that one has such a body to die for but you know i better be with a with a with a um, a girl like you because you're such a nice girl like that comparing you that's why the third party relationship always mean you are being manipulated always 100% of time why because a man constantly has you competing for his attention it makes him feel extremely good and sometimes uh, the um, a man makes uh, sure that a wife doesn't know no a wife suspects you know he she doesn't know for sure she doesn't have the proof but she suspects why he does it so these two women feel like they have to compete with each other be the best version of themselves so just whenever he compares you to his axes or with 
And even if he compares you to a movie star or he compares you to a model, he compares you to someone. Any comparison makes you feel terrible, makes you feel worthless. So pay attention if this is happening. Um, because what happened, like even this three, feel stupid, double compliment and comparison. Even this three already bring your self-esteem to the level of the floor. Not even the doormat of a floor. While he makes you believe this way, uh, but at the same time while he doing this, you see what he does? While he doing this, he makes you believe how un un unbelievably lucky you are to have him you know to have such a god that you just have to worship him and every second with him because he just came from his cloud to you um you see like that uh Remember, the worst method of, of, of lowering your self-esteem is the presence of a third party. This is why there are many reasons why please don't go into third party, but it's it's a way of, for, I don't even talk car, mashma, I'm, it's, a, it's a way of destroying yourself. Uh, because he's not choosing. He's taking advantage of the situation. Believe me, the right, genuine uh, man who you want to have in your life would not start a third party relationship, period. If he starts it, it's a manipulator who takes advantage of the situation. But he makes you believe you must fight for him. Even using these three he makes you believe that you must constantly fight for him. You have to prove him you're the best, that you deserve this, you know, king of the world. You deserve him. He must be deserved. He is the prize. So he makes himself this golden grail. He makes himself the prize. While your self-esteem is going down, his self-esteem is going up. But here is terrible thing. The more your self-esteem and self-worth going down day by day, the more important he becomes for you. Because the more you go down, the more he presses you to the level of the floor, the more he starts meaning for you. The more you can't live without him, no matter how lower he puts you down, that's what happens. This is, this is terrible. Next, next method of a manipulation, waiting. Waiting is a method of manipulation, my beautiful queens. It's not something innocent. This is the way to manipulate you, making you wait. And it's one of the easiest and most effective methods of manipulation because waiting, what happens? Very easy, you see psychology. Uh, and physical also waiting for him makes you think of him even if he does this very simple trick being late being late for example he tells you i'm gonna come to you at let's say 5 p.m he's not there 5 p.m 6 p.m 7 p.m at 11 by midnight he comes what were you doing all this five, uh, six, seven hours? You were thinking about him. You see, we are, this is what creates codependency. This is how strange it is. We are designed in such interesting way. The more we think of someone, if even if this is total asshole, manipulator, narcissist, psychopath, the more he makes us think of him, the more we tie ourselves emotionally and mentally and physically to this person. And this way creates codependency. And by waiting for him, we are slowly giving power over ourselves to his hands. So when finally comes the excuse you know, his stupid excuse, you know, I couldn't make it on Friday. 
uh, or he finally comes, you know, 17 hours later or two days later, instead of sending him to hell, as I like to say with soft tell where he belongs, we jump with joy. The waiting method of manipulation turns on, turns us into a puppy, you know. Uh, whenever the master comes, puppy just jumps. Even the master was away for six months, puppy is going to jump with joy. We are not puppies. We are queens. And don't you forget about it. So, um, as I already said, uh, not knowing what's going on, we can put it all in not knowing what is going on. I don't know when, I don't know what, I don't know why. When you don't know what's going on, are you in relationship or not? Who are you to him? And then we do this card reading, you know. And if I tell you the some of the cards do tell you the truth, you're gonna hit up some subscribe because you know I'm I'm such an evil, you know, bitch. I'm telling you what is really there instead of giving you a fairy tale. I'm gonna call myself from now on the most honest tarot reader on YouTube. Because I am, seems like it. Who are you to him? You don't know. What is the future there? You don't know. Where are you standing? You don't know. Are you a girlfriend? Are you a friend with benefit? Is he serious about you? Or is he passing time? What the hell is going on? You don't know. But, but, there is a method of manipulate. Why you are manipulated? If you try to talk to him... He will never give you normal, clear answer. He will tell you something like, well, I thought you know, you know. Isn't it obvious? Or uh, what kind of question is this? Or this one is manipulation, hard manip. I think, I thought you were smart enough, you know. I thought you were smart enough to figure things out. Why are you asking? Or he can completely change the subject, like, I like this blouse, you know, or what's for dinner? Or, please pay attention to this phrase. If he tells you this, I thought you were different. Please pay attention to these words. I thought you were different. What it means. So you just shut up and going to put up with anything and everything he's going to throw your way. You're going to tell yourself, I don't want to upset him. So you're going to stop discussing this question. So to your attempt to have a serious talk to him, he will treat you with, uh, uh, you know, I thought you knew. I thought you are smart, or I thought you were different, or uh, he will treat you with changing the subject. But, but, please be careful here. Is it here? The next method of manipulation, which is called ice treatment, can be the reaction of him to you trying to figure out what the hell is going on. Ice treatment means silence, absolute ignorance of you, or one of the hardest once methods of manipulation, gaslighting. But usually, if he, if you try to figure out what the hell is going on, and um, uh, he does this, this is already hard way. And I'm going to explain you how the hard way. To your attempt to have a serious conversation with him, he disappears. It, it's called ice treatment or silence. He simply silently walks out of the apartment or, or out of your house or whatever it is. And uh, that's it. He turns absolutely cold. He either turns absolutely cold towards you, even if he's still in your apartment. He turns cold like ice. You can feel that ice. 
or he just suddenly disappears. So he doesn't answer the call. He doesn't answer text messages. He's gone. He's vanished. But even if he does answer, usually several days after that, he will answer you something. Uh, usually this. What, what's going on? You just, you were just gone for three days. I was worried about you. I thought something happened to you because you might be worried. And he's going to tell you this very, uh, with a very cold voice, I'm just fine. From this answer, you're going to feel ice cold coming from his answer. You want to feel the desire to cover yourself with a wool blanket. You see, for adequate person, such behavior is illogical. This comes the third method of manipulation. I don't know why. Or the word illogical. His behavior is illogical. But don't try to understand manipulator. He has his own way of thinking. He's not a normal person. He's a manipulator. Okay, and it means there is no empathy and no compassion, but you are adequate. So such a behavior of him to you is illogical. And what you start to do if you uh, witness such thing, you then start trying to find the reasons in yourself. Maybe I said something wrong. Maybe I hurt him. Maybe I should not have said that. His illogical behavior gets you into deep feel of guilt. Guilt of something you haven't done. It's not the feeling which comes from inside of you. This is a feeling here generated in you by turning icy cold to your attempt to figure out what the hell is going on means you are dealing with skillful manipulation that's uh also the hot cold treatment can be that hot cold in out he comes and he goes you know what happens when it ha when this happens when he does hot cold in, out, he comes and he goes, you become completely lost. You more and more often blame yourself. You more and more often try to find faults in you. But you have done nothing wrong. So uh, now, you know, he turned your world upside down. Now you see black if it's white and white if it's black. This manipulation does it to you. And the uh, hardest method right here, I already saw it, uh, ignorance. I'm not going to be talking about gaslighting. Here you can um, Google gaslighting, but devalue. He devalues. He devalues anything and everything about you, your job, your achievement. Even, even though, you know, a couple of months ago, he was telling you he, he admired your intellect, your passions, your knowledge. Now it's, it's a devalue. What you do is really not that important, he can tell you. Wow, I thought you were smart. Be careful with this. I thought you were smart. I thought you were different. But you are just like everybody else. You are no different than all other women. And it makes you compete. It makes you want to prove him. No, you're not like everybody else. No, you are really smart. No, you, you are different. I thought you were different. Babe, please make sure. This is crucial for him to leave you feeling down, feeling stupid, feeling spread on the floor. And also be careful because some of them try to leave you without any support because they devalue your friends, your, they devalue your job, they devalue your family, they devalue everybody. So you are alone, one-on-one -on -one with their beast. Listen to your body. Even if in your mind you have no idea what's happening, listen to your body. Because your body lets you know when, you know, run away. Cough, fever, headaches, 
sleeping as migraine, all this are physical reaction to the uh, psychological manipulation. You're being manipulated. Your body tries to tell you something is wrong. You don't know why you suddenly can't sleep, why you suddenly lose appetite, you lose weight, then you gain weight. That, that's all kinds of physical symptoms. Please listen to your body. Watch out for the red flags. Manipulator never does anything. It's not a doer. It's a talker. Or he's silent, or he talks, or he's silent. True love and true feelings are always the right actions. Anything else is manipulation. The uh, result of being manipulated, especially if it had been lasting for a long time. You feel destroyed, you feel crushed, you feel stupid, you feel lost, you lose your self-esteem, self-love, self-value. Uh, they are absent. Moral principles, belief, uh, he cuts your friends, of family, complete loss of self, even of professionalism. Depression, you can start having problems with alcohol, even if you never drank before, you can start a smoke. In order to gather yourself back of course you have to get away from a manipulator and please don't suffer alone please get professional help i already said in my other video just simply google even if you have zero money free psychological help or affordable um psychological help all the specialist therapists are now working online through skype because um you cannot get away from him sometimes because now you're also codependent. Please pay attention. Please try, trust your guts, trust your intuition. And please stop finding excuses for, for the beast, for a manipulator. It's, it's just a, a manipulator activates your weak points, fears, doubts guilt okay and uh holds you with hope also hope everything is gonna change also fear that you're gonna die without him and guilt please i want you to please pay attention and if this is something i said happening to you please get help I am wishing you all the best and please stay in your power. Do not let anybody to bring you down. Namaste.